The United States and China are locked in a conflict, but not the kind most people imagine. There are no missiles, no tanks, and no battlefields. This is a war being fought with technology, innovation, and trade. It's quiet, complex, and affects every single one of us, whether we realize it or not. So why are these two global powers clashing over semiconductors, artificial intelligence, and broadband networks? And what makes Taiwan such a critical piece of this growing standoff? This is a modern war, a struggle to control the future, and while it doesn't make daily headlines like traditional conflicts, its consequences will shape the next century. From the phone in your pocket to the cars on the road, the outcome of this tech war will impact how we live, work, and connect with each other. So let's take a closer look at how this silent but powerful confrontation is unfolding. The competition between the US and China is rooted in technology. At the center of the fight is the race to dominate critical sectors like semiconductors, 5G infrastructure, and artificial intelligence. These aren't just tools of convenience. They're the foundation of economic growth, military strength, and global influence. The United States sees China's rapid tech development as a direct threat to national security. In response, it has introduced a series of restrictions targeting Chinese tech firms and cutting off access to advanced American-made components. China, on the other hand, is pushing back. The Chinese government is pouring resources into becoming self-reliant. They're building their own chip manufacturing plants, advancing their AI capabilities, and expanding digital infrastructure. This conflict is about far more than just technology. It's about who gets to shape the rules of the global economy in the future and who gets left behind. One of the earliest flashpoints came in 2018 when the U.S. placed sanctions on Huawei, China's largest telecommunications company. American officials accused Huawei of being too closely tied to the Chinese government, raising fears of espionage. The U.S. blocked Huawei's access to crucial components like high-end semiconductors and banned American companies from doing business with it. That single move sent shockwaves through the tech world and signaled that Washington was serious about containing China's rise in the digital space. But the restrictions didn't stop there. In the years that followed, the U.S. expanded its tech bans to target an even wider range of Chinese companies. In 2020, new regulations made it harder for Chinese firms to access chips produced using American software and manufacturing equipment. These chips are essential for everything from smartphones to artificial intelligence systems. Then in 2023, the U.S. imposed even tougher rules. The goal was to prevent China from getting its hands on the kind of chips used in powerful AI platforms and advanced military technology. These moves were designed to slow down China's progress in high-tech industries, but they also sent a clear message. The U.S. would do whatever it takes to stay ahead. However, China didn't back down. Instead, it doubled down. In response to U.S. pressure, China launched an ambitious plan to build a self-sustaining tech ecosystem. Billions of dollars have been poured into China's semiconductor industry. New factories are being built, and research labs are working around the clock to develop homegrown alternatives to Western technologies. China has also shifted its focus towards securing rare earth elements, materials that are essential for producing everything from electric vehicles to smartphones. By controlling these supply chains, China hopes to reduce its reliance on foreign tech and prevent future disruptions. At the same time, China is advancing its own versions of 5G networks, AI algorithms, and quantum computing. These aren't just minor improvements. They're major investments in the technologies that will power the future. China may not yet be on par with the West in every field, but the gap is shrinking fast. In some areas, like facial recognition and telecommunications, they've already taken the lead. A key battleground in this tech war is Taiwan. This small island plays an outsized role in global technology because of one company, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, or TSMC. TSMC is the world's largest and most advanced chip manufacturer. It produces more than 60% of the world's cutting-edge semiconductors, the kind that power smartphones, supercomputers, and fighter jets. Without TSMC, the global tech ecosystem would be in serious trouble. Both the U.S. and China understand just how important Taiwan is. The U.S. has supported Taiwan for decades and views its independence as critical to maintaining the balance of power in Asia. 
In recent years, the U.S. has increased military and diplomatic support for Taiwan, not only to defend it from potential aggression, but also to protect its semiconductor industry. Losing access to TSMC would be a devastating blow to American tech companies and the broader economy. China, meanwhile, sees Taiwan as a part of its territory. Reclaiming it is a key part of its long-term strategy, but Taiwan's role in semiconductor production makes the situation even more complex. If China were to gain control over TSMC, it could fundamentally reshape the global tech supply chain. That possibility has made the island one of the most strategically important places on Earth. While semiconductors and AI are often the main focus of the tech war, another front has quietly emerged. Broadband infrastructure. In April 2025, China successfully launched the world's first 10G broadband network in regions like the Xiongan New Area in Sunan County in Hebei Province. This new generation of broadband technology delivers speeds up to 10 gigabits per second, 10 times faster than the best current 5G networks. It also features incredibly low latency, down to just three milliseconds. This might sound like a small technical detail, but the implications are huge. With 10 gigabit speeds, things like real-time virtual reality, autonomous driving, and 8K video streaming become practical realities. It opens the door to a whole new wave of internet-based services and technologies. China's successful launch shows that it isn't just trying to catch up with the West, it's trying to leap ahead. The U.S. has taken notice. Government officials and tech leaders are calling for increased investment in America's digital infrastructure to stay competitive. There's a growing realization that whoever controls the next generation of the internet will have enormous economic and strategic power. And once again, China is signaling that it intends to lead that race. All of this might seem far away from everyday life, but it's already affecting people around the world. The competition between the U.S. and China is disrupting supply chains and pushing up the prices of consumer electronics. It's also causing delays in the production of everything from laptops to electric vehicles. As countries take sides in the tech war, global cooperation is becoming harder and innovation could suffer as a result. But the most important impact is on the future. Technologies like AI, quantum computing, and advanced wireless networks are going to shape how we live, work, and interact with the world. If these technologies are developed in a fragmented, competitive environment, it could lead to a more divided world with different standards, different rules, and less shared progress. On the other hand, some argue that this competition might drive innovation faster than ever before. The quiet war between the U.S. and China isn't slowing down. It's gaining momentum. Both countries are pouring resources into the battle, each determined to come out on top. Whether it's building faster broadband, designing smarter chips, or creating more powerful AI, the race is on, and the stakes couldn't be higher. We're watching a new kind of global struggle, one that won't be won with weapons, but with ideas, innovation, and infrastructure. This conflict is already changing the way companies operate, governments make decisions, and how future technologies are developed. As the world becomes more connected, the battle over who leads that connection becomes more critical. What happens next will shape not just international politics, but everyday life for billions of people. Will the U.S. maintain its lead, or will China rise to dominate the tech world of tomorrow? Only time will tell. Thanks for watching. If you want to understand the forces shaping our future, make sure to hit that subscribe button. At Rational Wonder, we explore the big questions that matter, questions that impact how we live, what we value, and where the world is headed. Leave a comment below with your thoughts, and don't forget to like and share this video with anyone curious about what's really going on behind the headlines.